Welcome to our channel Bong Programmers and today's tutorial is about to add the content of register B with the register C and store the result to the register D. Okay, let's see how to complete this program and we can see here that the data at register B is 05H and register C is 06H. Let's do the program. At first, we have to store the data 05H in register B. For that, the instruction is MVI B space 05H. It stores 05H in register B. And then we have to store 06H in register C. For that, the instruction is MVI C space 06H. It stores 06H in register C. We know that the arithmetical and logical operations we have to perform in accumulator. For that, I, we have to copy one data in accumulator. For that, the instruction I use that MOV A space B. I am moving the value of register B to accumulator. To perform this addition and then we have to add C in this instruction add C we perform the addition with the accumulator and register C and the result is stored in the accumulator we know that but according to the question we have to move the data of accumulator means the result we have to store in register D for that the instruction is mov d space a this instruction will copy the value of accumulator to register d and to stop the execution we have to give halt okay let's run this program so here we can see that in register b the value is 0, 05 and register c is 0, 06 and the result of the addition is 0b which is stored in the accumulator and after that the in the register d also the value is 0b because we have moved the value of the accumulator to register d according to the instruction let me explain from the first line in the first line we have stored in register b 05h and then we have stored 06h in register c after that to perform the logical or arithmetical operation we have to perform that in accumulator for that reason we have copied the value of register b in register a where we are performing the arithmetical problem so after that we have added the value of register c with the accumulator and then according to the instruction as we have to store the result in register D so we moved the value of accumulator to register T and then we have stopped the execution and you can see the results here there are no problem okay this is our today's tutorial thank you for watching and if you like our video then please subscribe our channel and share these videos to your friends thank you